Welcome to Edify with me, Robert Mwando. Here we exalt, exhort, and edify. Today my attention is drawn to the story of Joseph in the Bible, and I'm going to speak to you about flight to freedom. In the contemporary world, it's amazing how people hurry towards danger. Humanity has become more daring. I see how people today run in the direction of gunshots. How, for example, many have taken lightly the warnings about the COVID-19 pandemic and have disregarded all the measures to curb its spread. Fleeing has never been hailed as an act of valor. Rather, those who flee are branded among the cowards, the fearful, the timid, and the weak. And yet, none of these descriptions suits Joseph. But he fled. He fled into freedom. In Genesis chapter 39 and verse 12, the Bible says, And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand and fled and got out of the house. In contending with certain sins, there is no better mode to victory than flight. If you see, there are many scripture references that are linked to that. Like we have been encouraged to wash our hands and keep a safe social distance, the Bible urges us to flee sexual immorality, to flee idolatry, flee also youthful lusts, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. The Bible says, But you, O man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. And it says, Then submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Anyone who would like to be safe from acts of evil must hurry away from occasions of evil. There is no pilot who willingly flies an aircraft into the eye of the storm if he was forewarned by the forecast. In the same way, every ship captain tries to steer clear from any channel known to have obstacles. However, today the devil has blinded many a Christian to think that they can resist the lusts of the flesh and cause the devil to flee. Not. It is the other way round. You flee the lusts of the flesh and resist the devil, and then he shall flee. Today, we have, when faced with temptation, the wings of a dove will be more useful than the jaws of a lion. Fly away. Don't try to roar. Better to be called a loser when I decline evil company Better to lose my clock than to lose my character. Better to be called old-fashioned, poor, but remain pure. No ties of friendship, no chains of beauty, no flashings of talent, and no amounts of ridicule must turn me from the wise resolve to flee from sin. God bless you.